Welcome back. It was a soggy and cloudy uh, Saturday for many of us, though those along US 2 into the north uh, didn't see much precipitation at all. And there's still some uh, decent rainfall occurring across northwestern Minnesota uh, over towards the uh, eastern Monoman, over towards Detroit Lakes and over towards Otter Tail, uh, where there is some light rain occurring. But all this should subside as we get into the overnight hours. And again, it will continue to work its way towards the south and eastward. And what I want to direct your attention to is across western North Dakota, uh, where there is a quite a bit of clearing and it's already dropping down to areas up towards Lagden and Rala already into the 20s. And that clearing sky is going to continue to work its way towards the valley northwestern Minnesota. And once it does, that's going to help plummet temperatures down to at freezing or below freezing overnight tonight. As we take a look at the almanac from today in Fargo Morehead, 51 degrees today, well below average average high, 57 degrees, just over a quarter inch of rain here at Hector International Airport at 0.27. We're still below though for October right now in the middle of the month here, uh, 0.40. Uh, below average for this time of year. Grand Forks Almanac 48 degrees was our high temperature still below average average high 56 degrees across the north and again we did not see any precipitation today in Grand Forks and as we take a look at some other amounts across the board here in North Dakota Ellendale 0.84 inches just over a quarter inch of rain at the NDSU sensor the Indon sensor and just over a quarter inch over into West Fargo and across uh, Minnesota here a 0.38 inches in Park Rapids a quarter inch in Detroit Lakes all the way down to just over a tenth of an inch down across Bemidji. And current temperatures across the board right now, where it is still raining and that cloud cover is, that's where those temperatures are still hanging out into the low 40s. But again, where those temperatures have already fallen down into the mid 20s, 25 in Raleigh, 27 in Lagden, this is where the clear skies are. And I think most of us will be headed for the upper 20s to right around freezing as we go into the overnight hours. And again, several locations already across western North Dakota already down across that freezing mark as well. As we go throughout the next several hours though here in Fargo Moorhead, we'll continue to see decreasing clouds and there's that 32 degree mark showing up at 5 a.m. And if the streets are still damp in spots, there could be an isolated uh, slick spot or two as you're heading out early Sunday morning. So just keep that in mind if you're in the Southern Valley, Southern portions of Northwestern Minnesota where it has rain, that there could be an isolated slick spot or two for Sunday morning. And again, we'll continue to see clearing skies overnight tonight. And as we get into Sunday, we'll be dealing with partly cloudy skies, slight chance of a sprinkle though, right along and north of US 2 as we head into the forecast period for Sunday before skies clear overnight Sunday, right on into Monday. And the one thing you'll notice on Sunday is the wind. Uh, the wind was very calm today, but tomorrow we will have the breeze pick up. We'll have winds starting off into the southwest, eventually turning to the northwest as a weak front will come across the uh, eastern North Dakota, and that'll help pick up our winds 10 to 25 miles per hour as we head into Sunday. Sunday morning's forecast though again most of us headed for the upper 20s to right around freezing with rain ending across the region. As we go ahead and take a look at Sunday afternoon again partly cloudy skies upper 40s across northwestern Minnesota right along the Canadian border and the rest of us are headed for the low to mid 70s. Seven day forecast now for Grand Forks 67 on Monday still breezy but here comes the heat on Tuesday 71 degrees turns breezy and a little cooler on Wednesday 63 degrees. But then the forecast picks right back up again as we'll have an upper level ridge across our region. Temperatures back up into the 70s for the rest of next week. And the seven day forecast for Fargo Moorhead breezy on Monday, 67, 71 on Tuesday. A brief cool down on Wednesday, 65 degrees. And then back to the 70s for the rest of the forecast. Pretty happy to say that the 55 degree mark on Sunday is the coolest spot on the seven day. Yeah, not bad for October. Yeah, not bad for mid-October. All right, thanks so much, Andrew. Running Wilds, coming up.